Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an English Q&A with no particular reason. One reason is that I ran out of idea for vlogs, so here we are. So I went on Instagram and asked you guys if you have any question for me and I got quite some responses, like more responses than I thought I would get. So I'm just gonna randomly pick a couple of them and answer in today. And please excuse this really messy braids situation. I honestly don't think I suit this hairstyle that much, but you know. How has this COVID-19 affect my LDR? I think the biggest thing is just we can't see each other. Um, we used to see each other every like a month or a month and a half, maximum two months, and we shouldn't be traveling anytime soon. Um, so Ian is in Canada right now and I'm in Hong Kong. So it's kind of like, we don't know when we're gonna see each other uh, but at the same time we also try to find a balance in between like we facetime in the morning and night even though every time we facetime it's like oh good morning oh are you going to sleep cool have a good night uh, it's also a time for us to focus more on ourself as an individual than just focus on like a oh, couple thing so for example he gets to spend more time with his family and his dog and i get to enjoy my own time and do something that i wouldn't be able to do if we see each other that frequently so instead of saying how covid-19 affects our LDR. I feel like it's more like how we change our lifestyle and our focus in life right now. Hi. Hello. I'm Hi. filming. Oh, hello. <laughs> we oh. ended up playing Pokemon. Oh, really? Okay, someone asked how do we deal with long distance relationship in COVID-19? Um, Cynthia gets mad at me a lot and I say, oh, no. <laughs> and then? Now I keep playing Pokemon. <laughs> because the time difference is really hard okay so my answer is we can focus on ourselves first you can oh yeah it's a good answer okay <laughs> i'm gonna keep filming okay are you sleeping yeah okay i love you bye bye okay. <laughs> okay do you want to go back to the states for master um i do have that thought in mind i am thinking of whether i'm doing a master degree or i should do an mba i also look at schools in different countries not just in the states but also like uk and korea as well when do you want to get married love you thank you i love you too I don't know, maybe like 30-ish. I'm 26 right now, but I cannot imagine myself getting married. For now, marriage is something I look forward to, but um, it's not gonna happen in the next like three years or so, I, I think. Someone asked me if I am doing any investment or financial planning. This is something I really want to focus and put more effort into this year. I've always interested in investment and financial planning because coming from an economics major, I do understand that the worst thing or not the worst thing, but like the least thing you want to put your money into is your saving account because the interest rate is just really low and you don't get much return over the years. So if you have a sufficient fund that you can use more flexibly, I would totally recommend to look into different investment tools and how you can make more money out of your current savings. Obviously, every investment comes with risk. So I really want to learn more before I make my investment decisions. Um, to be honest, at this point in my life, I do realize how important money is to not just coming from like a materialistic perspective but more like i do have things that i want to accomplish in the long term i may want to have my own business i do want to like try different adventurous things and and if you have enough money that can make your life a little bit easier i'm not saying that money can buy anything it could be because it doesn't. In conclusion, I used to uh, let my parents kind of deal with all the investments and my financial like outside of my salary. But this year, I do want to put more attention and effort into investment. What leads you to have a mental breakdown? I, ha I feel like I have a mental breakdown every time, like every month, a couple days before my period. I know for me, my mental breakdown comes from many little different things. Each things were so unimportant and so not worth to have a mental breakdown but when it combines together 
oh my goodness and that's when i have a mental breakdown it's normal guys it's normal this is a fun one how do you stay motivated to work first of all it depends on your personality and how you treat your job for me i have two mentalities when i feel like i'm so dread going to work the first one is you know what just separate your work and your personal life if i want to get my paycheck i have to do the work that's how i deserve my paycheck this is the job that you agree on this is the job that you kind of signed the contract for honestly no matter what this is your choice if you don't like this job you can find another job but if you cannot quit the job at the moment or you just like uh there's probably not a better option out there then do your job get your paycheck that's it the second mentality is to it's more positive you have to find the little joys in your work for example you might have a really funny colleagues you know or the restaurants around your office is really good or as much as you hate this job you're able to get some experience when you find a little joys in your life you're able to shift your negativity into something that's more positive and make your job feels more bearable and at the end of the day if option two doesn't work then just go back to option one you're gonna be fine Oh, I like this question. Are you happy now? I think I'm really happy. I really enjoy my time alone at this apartment and how I'm able to spend a lot of time with myself in Hong Kong. Everything here makes me feel more grounded and like I feel like this is a time I need for myself. So I think I'm happy. Thank you for asking. Okay, someone asked me a very tricky question. Jonas or Boris? Mm, honestly, they are both really good kids. Boris is a very talented creator and he knows what he's doing and he has a lot of ideas that I really look up to. I don't have too much interactions with uh, Jonas, but he's super polite and I don't know. The conclusion is I choose Agnes. Love you, girl. If you study in Hong Kong, which university in Hong Kong would you like to study in? I haven't looked into Hong Kong education that much because I, I don't know, I didn't, you know, see that as an option for me. But uh, if I have to choose, I think I would try Hong Kong University, the MBA, if they have one. Okay, someone asked me, she wants to apply for economics, but someone says it's boring and why I chose to apply economics as my major. Okay, so you're definitely gonna be very confused when you're in high school. That's totally normal. I feel like university is somewhere you can spend more time exploring. In my case, it was a little bit different because I came from art school backgrounds. So I knew that I don't want to do art related majors and I don't want to do science because I just don't vibe with biology or chemistry or fixes or all that kind of stuff. So I was led with more liberal arts majors. So I just chose business as my first major and I started to take different classes like accounting or business, economics or you know like statistics and you will gradually kind of know where you want to go. In the business world it's kind of all connected together so when you graduate it's more about how many skill sets that you have instead of like which major were you in so my advice would be just choose a bigger direction and then start exploring different classes you can always change your major or even when you graduate it can always change your career path so you're gonna be fine what is my life motto everything happens for a reason um what is my main job in press play i am a youtube creator manager um, have you ever worried your YouTube career like doing the trends to get more views? Most difficult part of making YouTube videos. Okay, so I'm just gonna be very transparent and honest with you guys. To answer the question, I do sometimes feel the pressure about, you know, making videos that's more on trend. And it's so funny that my job is to help creators to find, you know, like more clearly how their direction should be. And I cannot figure out my own. So like, I have to constantly remind myself that YouTube is something that I put a lot of effort and I care so much about. Of course, if there's anything that I feel like it's interesting to, you know, film a video about, I would be happy to do that. But, but my priority would be just try to be me in my channel. Yeah. Okay, as for the most difficult part in doing YouTube videos is you're so easy to get trapped into the number game. So you know like you put so many hours into making this video and it turns out not many people watched it and you have to convince yourself to keep doing your videos that is the hard part otherwise i enjoy the majority parts of making youtube videos someone asked me the tips in 
doing your YouTube channel? You, you asked the wrong person. I'm not the person to ask this question. Haha. <laughs> how do you learn a new language and how is your Cantonese now? I've only learned English and a little bit Cantonese right now. Uh, so my tips would be just expose yourself in that environment, in that language and enjoy the process, I guess. And my Cantonese is kind of shitty right now. Like I can understand, I would say 65 to 70% of my clients' messages. But uh, in terms of speaking, I, I suck at speaking. It's just too hard for me. Top three of my favorite K-pop groups and idols. Whew. If I have to choose three, that would be Girls' Generation, Itzy, and Blackpink. Did I just kick twice out? I'm so sorry. Sorry. Okay, someone asked, do you have a music playlist for work? And yes, I do. I will link it down below in the info box and you guys can go follow my Spotify playlist. How to make friends with people around you for someone who has social anxiety and has introvert personality. Making friends can be very stressful. I really don't like meeting new people to be honest. But one tip I have is to start the conversation with common interest. Sometimes the conversation just continues and everything's good. And if you don't vibe with the person, you don't have to, you know, like you don't have to be friends with everyone because we don't need that many friends. We only need like this teeny tiny amount of friends. Well, I'm just kidding. But how do I balance reality and my dream? So for me, these two doesn't necessarily have to be conflicts. Of course, we have to make sure that our reality is being taken care of. But at the same time, do not let the reality stop you. You can always have baby steps towards your dream. For example, my dream is to work with artists. As of now, like I'm, my job is doing social media and I try to incorporate some of that elements into my channel. I would count that as my baby steps towards my dream. And if your dream is to having your own cafe, if your dream is to having your own business, you can start saving up, you can start making connections with people in the industry. Please remind yourself that do not compare yourself with other people. Someone sent me this article on Instagram and I just want to share with you guys again on the channel. Obama retired at 55 and Trump started at 70. Everyone in this world works based on their time zone. People around you might seem to be ahead of you and some might to be behind you. But everyone is running their own race in their own time. Do not envy them and do not mock them. They are in their time zone and you are in yours. Life is about waiting for the right moment to act. So relax. You are not early, you are not late, you are very much on time. Everyone's life is different, everyone's story is different. So you know, relax. Let the life take you to where you should be. I'm being so inspirational today. Please give me a round of applause. <laughs> Would you decide to live in Seoul in the future? Yes, I love Korea. Anyway, I need to wrap up this Q&A and thank you guys for, you know, staying till the end, um, listening to all my rambles. If you like it, please thumbs up. If not, then you don't hit the thumbs up. <laughs> I probably just wasted you guys like 15 minutes of your life, but I hope it's worth it. I hope I enjoyed it. I'm gonna make myself some food, enjoy my Saturday, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Told my brothers one day we gon' make it. We just gotta grind for that paycheck. Mama told me one day I'll be famous. Remember when she used to say she hate this. I didn't do it live when I say shit. Now I'm inside all them people's playlists. So one day I'll be stomping.